Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. Today we are making a little whittling knife. A whittle, whittling knife? <laughs> this is made uh, by Burley Woodworks. He did the forging on the Damascus steel knife blade. Absolutely gorgeous. And the handle is made out of the same material that I recently made a dovetail chisel out of. This is just a fun collab between the two of us. You've definitely got to go check out his channel. He has a video on making the knife. And if you want to learn how you can win this very knife made of Damascus steel and live oak, stay tuned to the end and we'll tell you about that. But let's dive into the project. So for the handle on this knife, we're going to be making out of this chunk of live oak. This was sent to me by a viewer of the channel and I made a carving mallet a while ago. And it is a beautiful wood, very, very hard, lots of curly grain and a lot of figure in it. And it will be a fantastic handle for a knife. Now this is the carving knife I'm usually using and this will be a nice whittling knife. So before we get to mounting the knife, we're gonna actually cut this block into close to its final shape, which means we're going to have to cut this beast apart, which it's so dry, this is going to be very, very hard. So the next thing we need to do is drill a hole in the end of this so that we can set the tang of the knife into that hole. Uh, to do so, we're going to mark out where the center is so that we get a rough idea of where we want the hole to be. And I'm just going to put a couple marks on here so that we kind of guess at where the center is. I don't care where the center is because we're going to be cleaning off all the outside of this eventually. And so now that I have marks on there, it kind of gives me a rough approximation of this. I need to pick a bit. And this bit is going to be smaller than the tang. Usually want to be the same diameter as the width at the small end. And that way when you drive the tang down into the hole, the corners of it will dig into the wood and hold it in place. And theoretically you get it in there without any epoxy or anything holding it in place. Just the friction of the steel in the wood. So I was about to drill the hole for this and then I realized when this was forged um, there was a slight mistake made. Um, if you look at it from this profile, it is thicker here than it is here. But when you turn it 90 degrees, it's thicker here than it is here. So the end of the tang here is fatter. It should be thinner. Um, and so that means that the hole is going to be a bit wobbly. Um, if I drill it large enough for this end of the tang to slide in, it's going to have some space here to make the head move. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a larger hole with the bit um, big enough to get this head through there. It'll still have enough meat here that it jams it on, but that means I'm gonna have to fill the head with some epoxy. Um, oh well, epoxy's fine and we'll still make this work. So let's dive in and do that. So now this tang at the bottom here is wider uh, than the hole a little bit. So I'm actually going to come in with a small file and just widen out that hole a little bit so that the tang can slide all the way down in. So I like having these little files on hand for fun times like this. And while I'm filing, if you want to help out the channel, I don't have any sponsorships so that I say what I want to say and not what the sponsorships want me to say. You can help out the channel. I have shirts for sale, card scrapers and other things at woodbywright.com. So now we're going to mix up some five minute epoxy and uh, this is just to quickly fill any gaps or voids from the oddly shaped tang, which really isn't a problem. Uh, a lot of times I will use epoxy on most any tang, uh, which with a lot of the old traditional ones, you don't need it because they're tapered perfectly, but it takes a lot of work to taper them just like that. So I'll mix this up, pour a little bit into the hole, 
and set the tang, be done. So now the epoxy has set and we are ready to keep going and working on the handle itself. A lot of people want to get really fancy and make ergonomic handles. Uh, there are several of those that you can buy that just have these kind of swirled out things that kind of fit your hand. I'm not a huge fan of that. I like a very standard basic handle like on a lot of the traditional carving knives. Uh, it really doesn't take that much but it feels good and I really like it. Just a slight octagonal shape to it and we're off to the races. So let's cut this thing to length and then start shaping it out. Then after rounding the handle and shaping it the way I like and feeling good in my hand, I'm just going to come in and add a bit of a chamfer to this end very, very carefully, trying not to hit the blade with my blade. Just get it fairly close. And adding this, this sharp chamfer makes everything look good. At least I think it does. So there you have it. This is a fun, simple project. Doesn't take that long. Really kind of cool. 
and I'm in love with the Damascus steel on this and the swirl from the live oak. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous knife that one of you can win. Now, first of all, the blade is made by Burley Woodworks, another YouTube channel you've got to go check out. He does some really cool things over there, and I'll leave a link to his channel down below. But to win this, we have a link that you can go to, and you can enter to win this very knife. We will ship it anywhere in the world, and it is open to anyone who views both of our channels. So the link to the giveaway is down below, or it's woodbyright.com backslash giveaway, and you can enter to win this knife. We'll be announcing the winner in one week, so stay tuned for that. I am really looking forward to giving that away, and it was an incredibly fun project. I do want to say a huge thank you to the patrons on Patreon and everyone who helps make this channel what it is today. Thank you to those of you who have bought t-shirts and card scrapers. That really means a lot and is helping to keep this channel going. Thank you for that. Also, if you want to help out by liking, comment, and subscribe, that does help out as well. That's about it for today, and until next time, have a wonderful day.